Coming up next, it's a UFC bantamweight division fight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. All right, now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight scrap. More than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, six losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Wilbur, Massachusetts, Rob Fox! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Aurora, Colorado, Corey Sanhagen. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now, go back to your corner. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Big hard punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just missed with the left there. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Got the single collar tie. He lands a big knee to the body. Oh, nice double leg, yes. He Bottom needs to move. Better move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up 
or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow. Both fighters get up now. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, stack guard here, DC. The feet are on the hips. What does that mean? I mean that he's out. I mean he's out. The moment you get the feet on the hips, all he's got to do now is just straight legs. He's got to kick and push because how is the opponent going to stop him from just elevating him? This is a grown man. You let him get both feet on your hip, you push away, you kick. Jiu-Jitsu stand-up, you know what that is, Jay. I do. You understand that. You know, you went to your jiu-jitsu class. <laughs> post the hand, switch the hips, get back to your feet, get back to fight. Just misses with the jab. Nice. Right up the elbow. By the hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice one-two there. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, high level stuff as he counters with that right hand. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Massive knee lands from the tie clinch. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh! Man! Oh, nice job to block the kick. Attempts the front kick there. Oh! Big elbow! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Round two winding down. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope the fire works, John. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see if he really charges out ahead in the second round. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. That body. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, nice leg kick. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Dig and kick. Connects with the right. I mean, he's cutting down the side. Looks like it is. Continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. And he landed the right hand there. He didn't like oh. that left hand. Oh! Oh. 
right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. 30 seconds to go in round two. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. That knee might have landed there. Oh, big knee. He went high on that one. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. He's hurt. He's hurt. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to a standing position. We'll see who has the advantage. Hands higher, hands higher. What a punch. So nicely done with the trip there. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, the octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue tonight. It's abandoned, but he did it. Right. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival. Oh, lands another punch there. And not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make oh. it pay for it. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind oh. it. Nice liver shot. Oh. Holy smokes! What a performance! Yeah, that was a devastating shot to the body, and the referee was all over it to prevent him from absorbing any further or unnecessary damage. Just not always that easy to defend yourself when you're writhing in pain. That is a big highlight for the winner here tonight. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 12 seconds of round number three, declaring the winner by TK.